is. Okay, so now that we're going to head back to Steve for our first 10 opening statements. Thanks, Ashley. We're giving all of our semifinalists 15 seconds. Contestants, tell us the most important thing you want the world to know about you. South, South Africa, start us off. Tuberculosis survivor, a disease that kills millions of people every year. I'm one of the lucky few to survive, and I'm able to tell my story through my hashtag Break the Stigma campaign. And I hope I can encourage everyone out there who's facing any adversity or any challenge to speak up about their story. Kapkumka. Philippines, you're next. Working in some of the poorest areas of my country, I found that it was a lack of child support, not poverty, that killed their dreams. A child once told me, Kat, that's just not my life, and those dreams aren't meant for me. But I stand here today because someone believed in me, and we owe it to our children to believe in them. Kapong ka. Nepal, step on up. I see myself I see myself as a pioneer. I'm a first-generation immigrant and a first-generation college graduate. That fact alone has made me value my dreams and feel empowered. I now work to empower the women and girls in my community who face menstrual health challenges by providing them health training, solutions, and health education. Kasodika. Vietnam, it's time. I'm an ethnic minority. Uh, I'm just to get, uh, to get married at 14, but no, I'm to education uh, from nothing. I'm here I am. I can do, you can do it. Thank you. Thailand, what would you like the world to know about you? To many, I dream an impossible dream to be a Miss Universe. I dare to overcome all fear of failure, criticism to join this journey. And I'm doing with all I am and all I have to fulfill not only my dream, but the dream of Thai people. Holy, you're up. The fact that I'm standing here is the proof that it's always worth to be yourself. And this is the message, especially for the youngest girl. You don't have to be perfect. You just have to be the best version of yourself. And you have to work hard and also believe in yourself. Thank you so much. Belgium, let's hear from you. I to tell you that at the age of 13, I didn't accept my body. I wanted to tell you that at age 13, I didn't embrace my body. Et je voudrais faire passer un message à toutes les femmes. And I would like to pass on a message to all women. Soyez fort. Be strong. Ne laissez jamais personne vous juger. Don't let anybody judge you. Être ici devant vous est ma plus belle réussite. Kapunka. To be here in front of you is my biggest success. Kapunka. Great Britain, it's your turn. When a knee injury ended my dreams of becoming an Olympic athlete, I quickly realized that in this life, we are all entitled to more than one dream. This belief inspired me to become a barrister and the advocate for victims of acid attacks and equal pay. This is what I want the world to remember me for. Thank you. Step to the mic. After I graduated at high school, I decided to travel as a model. I end up in the most beautiful places all around the world, but I felt so aimless and alone. Now I'm back to Hungary studying at the university, finance and accounting, and I'm very satisfied and happy with my life. Thank you. Ireland, our tenth semi-finalist, do you think? 
as a nurse with a dream of, of opening my own female health clinic, I want to use my knowledge and my experience to educate women on how to look after themselves. I want to raise awareness about female health and as Miss Universe, I would shine a light on the unfortunate stigma that surrounds female health in society. Come, come, come. Thank you. Well, 10 down and 10 to go. After the break, the remaining semi-finalists share their personal messages when Miss Universe returns live on Fox. Welcome back to Miss Universe. Before the break, we heard 10 semi-finalists share their opening statements. Now it's time to hear from the rest. Contestants, it's your turn to tell us something important that you want the world to know about you. Curacao, lead us off. Society's ideology of beauty, the most important thing for me is to stay true to the woman I was created to be making sure to express the highest and the truest expression of myself with love, respect, and a lot of confidence. Costa Rica, you're next. Costa Rica, you're next. Well, I come from a place where they taught me to find happiness in the simplicity of nature and the healing power of love. This is why I don't dream with a physical crown or a title. I dream with the opportunity to represent each and every one of you behind that screen that still believe that the world can be changed by planting seeds of love and acceptance. Thank you. Canada, step on up. I'm fortunate enough to come from the land of opportunity. I was blessed with a 10-year modeling career that took me around the world where I realized that there's a need for change. I chose to be a part of that change by pursuing, studying biomedical engineering so that I can help people all around the world regardless of who they are and where they come from. I believe that it's important to always be the hardest working person in the room. Thank you. Puerto Rico, let's hear from you. El universo debería saber de mí que soy una luchadora y una creyente, que no he tenido una vida fácil. I've been a fighter and a believer. I haven't had a very easy life. Y aunque muchas puertas se me han cerrado, nunca he perdido la fe. And even though many doors have closed on me, I have never lost my faith. Y tampoco he dejado de creer en mí. And I've never stopped believing in myself. Por eso, donde quiera que voy, siempre llevo un mensaje de esperanza. That's why wherever I go, I always want to deliver a message of hope. Inspiro y motivo a las personas a que sigan sus sueños, porque pueden alcanzar lo que ellos se propongan. I want to inspire and motivate people to achieve their dreams, whatever those may be. Capunca. Six more semi-finalists left. Jamaica, what would you like the world to know about you? I started my Miss Universe journey despite my insecurities. I know that, I know that I actually started it to work on my insecurities. And, oh. And now that I've realized that a queen defines her own perfection, I know I have what it takes to inspire to relate, and most importantly, to comfort young women across the world and across the universe. Thank you so much. Thank you. USA, step forward. As a certified child life specialist, I break down medical jargon to relieve anxieties as the next Miss Universe, if I were to be chosen, I would utilize my career experience as well as my own hospitalization to bring children from around the world child life strategies because I don't believe any child believes needs to feel alone or scared. Thank you. Kapunka. Venezuela, you're up. I 
I have learned to be confident, constant, and determined woman. Thanks to the example for my mother, who gave me the valor for in my in my family. He fought and beat the cancer in a country where the people suffer the co the consequence. Do not find the medicine. I am here so proud to shout to the world that we Venezuelans are warriors of love. Captain Cat Island. Indonesia, step up to the mic. Being raised with a family from four different religions and seeing that there's many cultural differences and also religion intolerance and gender equality, inequality have been much, have been the, the cause of the trouble in Indonesia and also persecution inspired me to do a campaign called Be Diverse, Be Tolerant to encourage all the people to embrace the differences and respect for others. Thank you, Captain Ha. Brazil, it's your turn. Sawarika, Thailand. I am Mayra Diaz, Miss Brazil 2018, and I'm proud of being from the Amazon in Brazil. And my mission is make people aware of the importance of the environment. This is crucial to ensure the future of the next generation. Conserve the Amazon, is preserving life on the earth. Thank you so much. Australia, take us home. advocate of cultural diversity and I have come to learn the importance of diversity through my own experiences of growing up biracial in Australia. I believe that there is not one single definition of beauty, but embracing one's difference is what truly makes you beautiful. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, your top 20. Eliminations are coming up, but first, let's check in with Ashley.